my name is Florin Coman, and I'm the conversational AI architect at uh, Bosch. And I have a kind of challenging uh, task today because I am the last one. <laughs> I believe your attention is not so high now. The other challenge is that I only have 10 minutes. And uh, as you see, I'm kind of a, not a very good speaker. <laughs> uh, and another challenge, and the most important challenge that I have, I need to speak as a behalf of an independent researcher. This is the first part of my presentation. Second, I need to speak on behalf of uh, my employer, Bosch. And also, I need to speak on behalf of uh, the organizers <laughs> and deliver the closing uh, speech of, uh, of this summit. So ten, 10 minutes is, uh, is probably not enough. Uh, I, will, uh, I will, however, start with a question. I will give you five important people that apparently are very different from our past uh, history and present. And my question will be, what is the common thing between them? First, Alexander uh, Graham Bell. Everybody knows, so they invented uh, the telephone. The second, David Hume. I don't know if you know him. He is a famous philosopher. Third, J.K. Rowling. Everybody knows J.K. Rowling. With Harry Potter in the magic area. Fourth, Charles Darwin with a theory of evolution and so on. And the last one, uh, uh, the famous writer Scott. What is the common thing between these five important persons? <laughs> and more specific, Edinburgh. So all these five persons, one is the, in the magic business, one are more scientists, one are more uh, dreamers in terms of art and so on, found a common grounding in Edinburgh. This is a, so I'm coming from Berlin. Berlin is like 10 times Edinburgh. It is cosmopolitan. But it's, it's a huge city. Edinburgh, with like 500,000 people, has this very important thing that art and science and everything came together in this city and, and make it work. Did, does this sound familiar in conversational AI? From my experience, it sounds very, uh, very similar with what I'm doing because our team in conversational AI needs to have dreamers because, uh, I don't know, our bosses is asking for magic. Needs to have like developers and so on that are more pragmatic and scientific and so on. And needs to have also conversational designer that are more in the art part and so on. And I believe it's very important to understand and to look over Edinburgh and understand that this is very similar with uh, what we are doing every, every day. And if we understand from this example, I believe conversational AI has a future. Uh, I'm not a person that uh, is coming in front of you that will say that conversational AI will change the world and so on. And I saw that most of you didn't have this uh, approach that was used like two or three years ago. So we need to be more realistic. And our main challenge, and I believe very much in this, is how to put together different uh, persons from different zones and make it happen in front of the users and so on. Uh, my topic uh, and what I did in the last three years is focus on the low research languages. Everybody now uh, is focusing on English and Chinese and German and so on. Nobody is focusing, uh, nobody, too, 
too little people are focusing on low research languages. I, I don't think this is a, a good approach, and I believe we can uh, also understand from what is happening in the world now. We have a war in which a bigger power is trying to somehow do damage to a smaller power. I don't know if this is right or no, but I believe we as a conversational AI, we need to focus on also on the low resource languages. I will now not go with all this presentation. What I did is on the GitHub. I'm not uh, uh, active in this project anymore. It is called Cezanne AI. Cezanne is the famous painter for, he painted a picture with uh, the conversation, it is called. You will find on GitHub what I have researched and how to do conversational AI also with limited data sets. I believe I prove it, even if you will not find there all the codes and so on, you will find some dummy codes and architecture and everything needed in order for you to put in place a solution for low research languages also. And I believe even if most of us, we are uh, involved with English and German and so on, we as a people need to take care also uh, from the rest of the world, because every language has his own spirit, and I believe it is our duty also to, to cover this. Uh, you will find all the layers there, all the models explained very specifically. Uh, what I will tell you, like a general thing, when you ask somebody to show you the pointed finger, there are three approaches to do this, and this is very important in terms of uh, my solution. First, I don't know if this is resembling very much the BERT model. What BERT is, is doing is masking something and using data sets to see similarities in order for you in order for the model to discover the missing uh, word. So one approach is to show the pointer finger, it not, is not to show it at all, is and to reconstruct this finger. The other thing is actually show the, the pointer finger. And the third one, I don't know if you heard about Gregory Batterson, it is the father of cybernetics. So everybody is talking about Alan Turing, but actually also Batterson is very important in this area. Batterson, it will say that showing the pointer finger, you need to show the whole hand. You will ask me, but all the fingers are shown in the same way. It is not a difference between the middle finger and the pointer finger. Gregory Batterson will say that Alone, the pointer finger doesn't say anything. It is the relation between the pointer finger and the other fingers of one hand then that make a difference. In order for our hand to have all the functionality, the relations are important, not the, because without the other finger, you cannot do anything. So the best way to show the the pointer finger is actually to show the whole hand. In my approach that you will find it on the GitHub, you will see this approach in, uh, in making models that are based on fundamentals in terms of math, logic, and also linguistics. And it can cover lower research languages without having 20% or 30% deviation in terms of accuracy and so on. I don't know how many of you deal with low research languages. One person. I did also, and it is very frustrated. Very frustrating, because you are seeing how, how the models are performing in terms of English and German, and you are seeing that 20, 30% is actually a lot. 
and the differences and the, uh, are a lot. And I believe we should not let this uh, disparity between language in the future also, because I believe we sh should have uh, issues. OK, in terms of uh, what I'm doing uh, in Bosch, we are mainly focusing on voice and uh, phone. We believe that contact center AI is very important uh, in the future because people are using a lot the phone and we don't believe so much in uh, chat and other uh, channels. We have integrated the uh, solution for low research languages. Bosch has like 400,000 employees all over the world and it, we need to cover the, uh, all our uh, users. Conversational AI is becoming more and more strategic for, uh, for Bosch, that it is one of the uh, biggest company in the world currency. And we are using hybrid solution. So never, never you will see us focusing on one company, one solution, one model, and so on. We are looking over the market and what is best for the use cases, we are trying to, to come up with a hybrid solution. We are looking also in terms of open source solution, in the cloud solution, and, uh, and so on. And now the final uh, <laughs> keynote. And I, know, I do not know if I'm in time. We are hoping that uh, this uh, was a very good learning experience for uh, everybody. We are waiting for you next year. I believe uh, first two years are harder, but from uh, the third year should be more and more interesting. And the most important thing, uh, the summit is not ending with my uh, presentation. We will reach you and try to make somehow a com community and do follow-ups on uh, everything that we discussed here. So hopefully 10 minutes was, uh, was enough. Okay, thank you very much. It will be without question because it is... A <laughs>